Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO from BIM Object, and today I'll be going through the ASA Abloy Entrance System range of products. So with the revolvers, they're totally free of charge for download from BIMObject.com or via ASA Abloy Entrance Systems. And they're accessible via a, uh, a normal web browser or from within Archicad and Revit via the BIM Object uh, free of charge app, which can be downloaded from BIMObject.com. So I'll be going through the four different revolvers here, the RD3, the RD3L, the RD4, and the Uniturn. There's three different ways that we can work with these particular products. Um, the way that I'll be demonstrating today is a freestanding object. These can also be used as a door, so placed with inside a wall, and they can also be placed with inside of a curtain wall system. So as you can see here, we have the different settings, so the radiuses. We also have standard sizes, but we can also click the standard sizes um, and deactivate them and work with the different heights individually. So we have the options for night closing doors. We have a frame system and the slim system, which I'll come back to in a moment. We have different glass and infill uh, panel infill alternatives here. We have different material options, so anodized aluminium as standard. We also have the two different anodized aluminiums. We have the option to choose the RAL color system and the three different alternatives within that color system. And by simply clicking on the color palette here in the drop down menu, we can simply choose the desired color. We also have a mid rail alternative, these are available for the outer walls and the door leaves. So, depending on how you've configured your door, um, this determines the text that's shown in the description text here. So by clicking next, uh, under the appearance, we have the different pen settings and fill settings and material settings as well for the low level of detail, high level of detail, 3D and the sections and elevations. So by choosing scale sensitive in the 2D and section and elevation, that actually determ is determined by the Archicad window that you're in. So if it's a section and you choose the uh, a different scale, it will be uh, updated accordingly. The 3D option is a manual option, so it's not scale sensitive in the 3D window. You need to do it on a object level, so by selecting the object either before you place it or after you place it and changing it to a higher level of detail will help you achieve that particular function. So if we click on OK, uh, and as I just mentioned uh, earlier, I'll be placing these out as freestanding objects, but again, they can be placed as doors and they can also be incorporated into a curtain wall system. So as you can see here, after we've placed this particular product, we have the editable hotspot. So all of the hotspots with um, purple color are interactive or editable in Archicad, which means that they have a function attached to them. So in this case, it's the night screens that can be open and closed. We can also rotate the doors here as well to make sure that there's no interference, as we can see here. And if we go back and change the radius of it, you'll see that it will be updated accordingly. So now it has a, a radius of 3.6 meters. We can have the mid rails, as you can see here. We also have an intelligent hotspot or editable hotspot attached to these particular mid rails, so they can be moved vertically. And if we deactivate the standard sizes. As you can see here we can change this either in the dialog or this can be also chosen or changed interactively again via an editable hotspot and we can move it to the minimums and the maximums and everything in between. This can be done numerically or it can be done by simply sliding them up and down as you can see here. So if we select the door again and go in and change this to the maximum here, so 2.6, we see that that updates accordingly. So there are a lot of configuration options for the revolvers, as you can see here. We can change the fascia height back down to 600. and change to a gloss and we can see that that will update accordingly. So let's change to a 
gloss rail color now which will also be visible in a in a bill of materials if we choose the infills here we have uh, as you can see here they are they're infills rather than glass and if we change back to the glass and we can change to the frame slim frame system so what you'll see here now is that actually the frames are a lot thinner and we can go back and as you can see here we don't have the option for a larger door than uh, three meters in diameter because of the frame system so if we change that back to the frame frame system you'll see that we also get the alternative back for the larger radius of the door as you can see here if we change the the scale in the Archicad window you'll see that we get a little bit more detail and 1 to 10 you'll see that we get a full level of detail in the 2D window as you can see here again we can override this setting so it's always at a 1 to 10 level of detail or 1 to 50 level of detail regardless of the Archicad window but I've chosen to have this scale sensitive okay if we move on to the next one the RD3L the major difference is that there's uh, larger sizes and there's some other alternatives here as well. So we have night closing on both sides uh, or on individual sides. Again, we have the same functionality regarding the levels of details in the 2D window, pens, etc. Just click on that and have a look in the 3D window. So we see here that we have a much larger revolving door here with very similar functionality as we found in the first revolver so again we can rotate the doors here to make sure that there's no interference we can change to a stainless steel here and have the mid rails as well so we have the same options as we had with the previous door and these are also editable the same with the standard size you see that there are a, a few differences uh, especially for the fascia there's a different minimum here and again with the night closing doors so now that we've activated that we can go ahead and open and close those to make sure again that there's no interference around the uh, around the revolver if we move on to the RD4 so again the difference between the RD4 and the RD3 is the the amount of uh, wings of course so the RD4 has four and the RD3 has three again you can see that there's different settings so the radius is not as large as the RD3 by choosing the special material for the profile it's actually giving you access to your own internal Archicad uh, material library and as you can see here the mid rails are only available with the frame system for this particular door so for the R RD4 the four wing door and if we click on OK um, place that out and have a look at that in the 3D window So again, these revolvers from Asa Abloy Entrance System b brand are available from BIMObject.com or from Asa Abloy Entrance Systems or directly from within Archicad and Revit BIM Systems via the BIM Object app, which is free of charge from BIMObject.com. The Revit app is available via the, app, uh, the Autodesk App Exchange Store for, for Revit. So finally, I'd just like to go in and show the Uniturn. As you can see here, we have a limited amount of configuration options. We have the mid rails which are available here. Again, depending on what you've configured in the first page of the user interface, that determines on the information that's displayed on the informational page. And if we go and have a look at the Uniturn here. Again, we have the rotations of the of the uh, of the door system here so you can see that there's no interference and if we just zoom out 
the rotation functionality is, av is available in the 2D window as well. So not just in the 3D window, as you can see here, to make sure that there's nothing interfering with the uh, with the wings. As you can see here. And if we go on, go ahead and, and select all of those and have a look at them at, in the uh, in the 3D window. So again, these available as free. These are available as freestanding objects, as I've display uh, as I've demonstrated now, as door objects, and they can also be incorporated into a curtain wall system. By selecting on uh, by selecting a particular product and clicking on the information bar in the BIM object app, you are taken directly to that particular product page on the portal. So if you'd like to find more information, download technical documentation, installation instructions, care instructions, for example, or by finding more information on the ASA Abloy Entrance System website, you can find the links under the link tab on the particular product on BIMobject.com. As you can see here, we're going to the RD4, so the four-wing revolver. And under the components list, under the BSAM components list, you can see that you are getting a full bill of materials here as well. So the different revolvers that you can see here in the list, the article numbers and the components that are included in those particular products. So again, the revolvers from Asabloy Entrance Systems are available for immediate download from BIMobject.com. And by clicking on the ASA Abloy Entrance Systems icon in the BIM Object app or in the Revit app, you gain instant access to those particular products. So thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.